Yo, this is Last Real. And this is the Local Revolution Band Tour. Local Revolution. One band, ten souls, one bus. Travelling the Great Ocean Road, crossing vast borders of Australia to perform music and inspire everyone they meet. After several long hours of driving, the eclectic mob of musical creatures decide they need to find a suitable site to camp for the night. While surveying the landscape, an ear-splitting cry announces the presence of a terrifying beast. And we, we got about 10 metres away from this tree, and this huge insect screams out of the tree, <laughs> comes soaring straight for us, dive bombs. <laughs> oh, what are they? <laughs> they're cicadas, they're cicadas. <laughs> and I, I, like, pretty quickly I realised it was a cicada. And I'm like, oh, it's cool guys, it's just a cicada. What's yeah, a cicada? Yeah. Well, it's it's a cicada like an insect, insect. They, um, they make a really loud noise. It's a clicking noise. They shell as well, so you get these tiny shells on the trees. <laughs> Check it out. Steve Irwin. Yeah, though. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Irwin. Like another one on there too. How did they get out of that? Wait, that what was, was that? Yeah. Yeah, they just kind of bust out the top. Grow oh. another shell, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it at them. Oh, you're cute. pretty. You put it on Amber, she'll love that. Yeah. I walk straight up and go, hey, Polly, and throw the cicada straight onto Paul and just go, <laughs> Check this motherfucker out. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guys. Clark's sitting next to him, just frantically trying to get this thing off his chest. <laughs> the long days of driving, restless nights spent atop of ferocious bull ant nests, with one of the alpha males receiving an ant bite, all contributed to rising tempers and unrest in the troop. Let's go kick some butt. <laughs> After paying respects to the native sculptures, local revolution hit the road again, only to be faced with their first and potentially devastating oh, obstacles. <laughs> What's going on? They don't have any diesel at all. What about oh, diesel plus then? Diesel shortage. There's, there's no diesel, there's a diesel shortage everywhere 45 minutes, no matter where we drive. Are you acting? And like... Emergency... Currently having technical difficulties, yeah. blew a hole in the exhaust because we're doing more than technical difficulties. Mechanical uh, difficulties. We're in the uh, studio, mate. All right. We're doing too many uh, burnouts <laughs> and. Uh, Yo. Oh, we sound really tough now coming to the lawn. You know, every town we went through on the way to lawn from Apollo Bay had you know closed diesel, no <laughs> diesel. So uh, we we're all pretty much you know gripping, mate, hoping that we'll get to uh, to our destination. Uh, yeah, let's, we'll, we'll see if we make it back. If not, we need a backup plan. The general consensus was to stay the night in Apollo Bay and make their way to Lawn the next day where they could service the bus.
people out there want to know. What did you say? I said we'll be in bed by 12. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll see you. Yeah, just, just busking on the street and just the, the chants we made, we were shameless. We we're promoting our gigs. <laughs> there was this one chant. How'd it go? From the Kuda bar from, from 10, 10 to, to 1, one. Local, local revolution, revolution will be ripping, ripping it up. <laughs> anyway, we were promoting that on the streets. People walking past, laughing their heads off, Wula Love and Life. And we got a few people there that night too, so our shameless promoting work. <laughs> Start off with that. What was your first, what was your most memorable moment of the band tour? Of the entire tour, it would have been the first Kudabar gig. Playing that was that was really special. There was a a great energy in the band and the room just there was, was a lot of people so it was full. Um, it's easier to feed off the audience when they're really into it and there's lots of people. The beautiful open beaches of Lawn gave Local Revolution a fantastic place to relax and enjoy some free time after their chronic gig at the Kuda Bar. One of the troupe is seen here performing a landmarking ritual. It is an offering to the great land spirit in the hope of good fortune. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is anyone there? <laughs> we have a frisbee back. <laughs> oh, they're doing it with that. <laughs> and I suppose the other memorable moments are well, there's quite a few like little moments like throwing the turning my hat into a frisbee. Oh, it's in the end of your head, right up. Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh! oh yes! <laughs> yeah! Oh. One hit wonder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To losing frisbees and using hats, to just the random funny times because we're all so broke, <laughs> just living off, you know, <laughs> living off the grass. Ah, uh, the car breaking down and being stuck without a car and oh, getting sick. So I was sick for most of the trip and didn't didn't have a car, so we had to drive, um, walk up a fucking. Epic hill. <laughs> fucking Mount Everest. <laughs> oh, I already said it. Fucking hill. <laughs> Which is also a double meaning. The hill is I love lawn. Yeah, that was huge. Um, I found myself wandering up and down so many times. I don't know why, but I just forget something at the van. I'd be like, shit. I wander back up there. Yeah, it was. I just never learned.
Lorne had been kind to our troop. The weather was perfect, the food provided by chopsticks was nourishing and delicious, and the music was growing on a deep spiritual level. Alas, all good times must come to an end, as new adventures await. Now hear the sailors cry, smell the sea and feel the sky, let your soul and spirit fly into the mystic. Chopsticks food was awesome. So, I mean, I ate a lot of Asian food um, on that trip, but cho if it was, yeah, chopsticks was awesome. I'd definitely go back there and buy some more. I have no idea what meals were ate though, because it was just all on one plate, so I have no idea what to order next time. But it was freaking awesome. part would probably be when the alarm went off at the backpackers and um, it, there was about 150 backpackers lined up on the street and I was in the shower and I didn't believe it at first so I didn't I didn't go it um, I didn't go out and I'm just having my shower and then I'm like, oh fuck everyone's like banging on the door it's like oh you gotta get out you gotta get out it's a shower um it's a um fire <laughs> and um yeah so I ran out in my towel to the 150 backpackers in my towel. So nude. <laughs> but yeah, that was my nice one. I reckon that last gig we did, that was pretty cool. Most of us let loose with that one. So that was, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a good time with that. And it was great, yeah. I think it was a really good way to finish it.
As the sun sets and one day ends, the promise of a new day rises. Our troop had been through ups and downs, vast lands, and overcome many challenges. Everyone had grown from the experience they had shared. This was a once in a lifetime journey. Old friends departed and new ones were welcomed. The tour may have ended, but the journey had only just begun. <laughs>